two parts therein shall be cut off and died, but the third shall be left therein. No. So that, mean, yeah, so that means two thirds of, of our people, two thirds of the nation of Israel ain't gonna make it, man. Because they ain't hearkening to the law, statutes, and commandments of the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot, man. Only the one third, only the elect men and the one third are gonna make it on the first go around, man. Huh. You know? All right. Most high he believe in recompense, man, whether y'all know it or not, man. The scriptures tell you, man. And I'm gonna get uh this is uh Galatians chapter six, verse seven. Be not deceived, your how is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sowed, that shall he also reap. You know? So they're gonna reap what they sow, man. We was hanging from those man, we was hanging from everything, man. Hanging the motherfuckers the sent German shepherds on this. You know, they but I guess time changed, right? Hanging us from Everything trees with the American flag around, but you got niggas wearing American flag bandanas and pants and all that shit, man. Trick, you know what I'm saying? This ain't our rest, man. I don't see how you fucking people can't see that shit, man. This ain't our rest, man. No. You know what I'm saying? We still That's slaves, man. They just made it, made it into the jobs where we, we go and work. That's right. That's, that That's our slavery. That's right. Uh, we ain't nothing but that slaves, uh, man. They took the chains off of that because they got they got y'all minds, man. All right. We're still slaves, man. We okay. debt slaves. You got to go in. You got to pay taxes. You got to pay rent. You got to pay bills and all that. If you don't pay that, you're going to be out in the streets, man. You ain't going to have shit, man. You got to pay for, for food. You got to pay for fucking water. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay for clothing and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, this place is hell, man. Huh. All right. This place is pure hell, man. Huh. And then y'all people in these churches signing and crying, wondering why y'all going through. When Deuteronomy 28 chapter tell you why you going through, man. That's right, man, but the pastors ain't bringing that man, shit up. Man, I barely heard it Deuteronomy when I was in the church, man. My damn daddy a pastor, man. You know? And see, I ain't even going to lie, man. I barely even went to church like that, man. You know what so I'm I went to church a few times, but I guess the most I had in my spirit not to even go to church, man, because every time I used to go to church, I used to, you know, go in the fucking sleep, man. Right. Because the pastors in there bad. Talking, man. used to feel bad that you get sleepy. You know what I'm saying? Like, but damn. Well, yeah, we got here. I know, I know more scripture than motherfuckers who've been going to church all their life, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you know right there, man, we got the real truth. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the time and season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So if somebody, so somebody coming like a thief in the night, that means they're going to catch you by surprise, man. The most I'm going to come back and catch you, most of these motherfuckers with their pants down, man. You know what I'm saying? With their pants down and their ass out, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what a thief in the night is, man. A lot of people are going to be caught off guard and totally surprised when they see Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai in his chariots. Well, who y'all call uh, so-called UFOs coming and filling up the sky, man. And, and they're going to see the biggest chariot of all with uh, Yahweh Shai on it. And they're going to they gonna be... Uh, crying when they see a big, uh, I mean, yeah, a big black man coming out of the um, chariots, man. And he ain't gonna come back. He ain't lifting a finger, man. He gonna come out and just destroy this motherfucker, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but y'all, but y'all ready for the day of the Lord, though? Oh, you ready for the day of the Lord, man? The Lord is darkness and not light. Yeah, those brothers, we hoping we get we right with the most high, man. Yeah, man, we out. That's why we out here, man. We prisoners of hope. Yeah, man. Prisoners of hope. We, we hope and pray that we're a part of the right. event, man, because we ain't want to be that part of that two-third club, man. You know what I'm saying? Huh. We, we just pray and hope that we're a part of the elect, man. Because only the elect, or the one-third, only them can be saved, man. Yep.